All right, wifeys, 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 gather around, gather around, wifeys, gather around. Right, we said we're going to get a what? A PhD in the PP, yes? Yes. Now, if you're going to get a PhD in the PP, you can't just come off the street and say, hello, I'd like my doctorate. You don't do that. You don't do that, no. You get a what? A degree in the, and a master's in the, the JJ. Then you can get the PhD. Yes. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey, gorgeous, and welcome to my channel. I'm Gopanish Mage, and this is how I do things the show where you send me your questions, and I'll let you know. I would do things now you can take it as entertainment use it as advice take it don't take it use it don't use it at all darlings listen do what you will with it you know why do you know why because nah, egg, mwah. no professional no professional whatsoever i'm just letting you know what i would do if i was in your shoes hunties last time we spoke hmm, my wifeies we said we're going to do what get a phd in the bb mm, we did but here's my thing we spend so much time when it comes to the loving, to the getting down with the man, you know, like, you know, all of those things. We're thinking about how to please the shaft. That's what we talk about majority of the time. However, it's not just the shaft involved, right? There's also the sister down here. So if we're going to be good at this lovemaking thing, we also need to know how the sister works down here too. That's how we become good at the lovemaking because it's not just about him getting his way. We also need to get ours. And if we get ours, he gets his. We're all happy. Yes? All right. So today we're going to chat about the natural lubrication, darling. How we get wet. Why we get wet. What is the science behind this nature's lubrication that makes this whole thing so delicious? Yes? Yes, okay, I know there's men hiding in the background. Hi, don't forget to leave a comment. Yes, all right, let's get into this video. Psst, psst. Just so you know, I've got two pro tips in this list, so stick around. Number one, why do we get wet? Because we're turned on, darling. Because we're turned on. It's nature's way of making sure that we are nicely lined so that the whole process of getting down with the hubby is just more fun and has less friction. Just imagine. That's literally how it feels when it is dry, okay? So it is a need. We get it so that the whole process is more fun. You know when you rub your skin for really long, what happens, it gets hot, it gets sensitive. Now imagine, you think you're having fun as the man, and then Kanti, on the other side, it is painful, it is not cute, it's not fun. However, when it is wet, it's slip and slide, darling, you're just patella, you're just like this, the whole time, it's nice. It moves, it's good, there's no friction. We're moving together, feels just good. It's a need for us to have nature's lubrication. And that's why God created it in the first place. Number two, how do we get wet? We get wet because we are aroused. And in the same way that men get aroused, we get excited, right? And then the blood flow increases and as the blood flow increases, it builds pressure. Now for you guys, Y'all stand up. For us as women, what happens is that a signal gets sent to our body to turn on the waterworks. Huge note for men, it can take 0.2 seconds to go from this to this. But for us, it can take a little bit longer sometimes. And sometimes some women won't get the nature's lubrication at all during the process. This does not mean that we're not aroused, but I'll get into that a little later. Number three, what is this witness? What is nature's lubrication? Well, it's mostly clear, it's slippery, and it spreads extremely easily. This thing can get everywhere. Like it's just, it's a mess. You turn on the waterworks, it's everywhere. But it differs from woman to woman. Some women may have a lot, some women may have a little, but it's there and it's slippery and it's clear and it's, you know, 
it's nice it's gooey makes things quite slippery now this can be affected by emotions it can be affected by hormones or it can be even affected by where you are in your cycle i don't know if you've ever noticed but you go through this like this kinky face <laughs> okay in your cycle and what i mean by your cycle is like the whole month you're going to be on your periods for a few days and then you're going to lead up to your periods there's a time when you get bloated there's a time when you feel a little frisky you know you can just feel mm, your man walks in and then tingling starts to happen and you're just naturally wet like you're not even aroused but there's just a clear thing that comes off and you're just like i know this clear phase that i go through in my cycle but it's not just that but i also have the emotions you know you do go through a horny phase I go through it women go through it it's okay and depending on your age as well it can be affected by your hormones your age your cycle wetness is up and down and it is extremely individualized all right let's get into the good stuff number four is levels there are levels to this thing called wetness okay here's the thing different women will get wet at different times different stages and in different ways okay so the fluid the amount of fluid the volume that you're getting out can be different from woman to woman now you can actually get this to increase over time let me tell you how if you get turned on or aroused frequently so if you and your man are getting down on a regular basis he knows what he is doing and you know what you're doing and you enjoy the good good between the two of you then you get turned on faster, you get wetter faster, and you get more fluid. However, if it is infrequent, okay, so you're not getting much practice, it's not happening fast enough, once a week, once every two weeks, then you kind of get out of practice and what happens is it gets harder to get aroused and the fluid may just be a little less than usual. So you can get into the habit of getting aroused. That will actually help to increase the fluid, and increase the rate meaning that you will get turned on much faster number five what if you're dry here's the thing just because you're dry does not mean that you do not want to get down and dirty miscommunication can happen in the body sometimes we are such complex beings as females that sometimes i really want to get down and dirty with you the waterworks just aren't coming what must i do now it doesn't mean i don't want to get down and dirty with you it just means something's up there are days when you can get super wet, super quick, and have a lot of it. And other days, when it's a bit dry, you can go through a dry spell, meaning a couple weeks or a couple months where things are a bit difficult. Now, this can be a sign that you may need to see someone, but if it is infrequent, happens sometimes, happen, doesn't happen other times, and it's completely normal, it doesn't mean that you, want, you don't want to get done and dirty. It means that you do need the tips that I'm about to give you now. Number six, you have to be a master as a woman in arousal of thyself, not just of your man, but of you as well. It's really fun when both partners are in the business of arousal, where I will arouse you, you will arouse me. That's fun. But sometimes as a woman, you can tell, ah, not ready yet, just need a little bit more waking of the system just to get the body going. So you need to learn what it is that gets you turned on. And once you learn that, then you can invest a little bit more time in foreplay just so that the body can catch up. But you have to learn, what is it? There's a certain point in getting to the business that gets you turned on, right? Physically turned on, as in the waterworks. That's what you need to play on. Something that you know, a certain card that when you pull out, you're just like, turn on the waterworks. That's how you feel. So learn how to arouse yourself. And just to get the waterworks coming just a bit sooner the reason why it's important is because when you are wet it's more fun if it's been hurting lately it means that you're not well lubricated for the task at hand so if you learn how to take a little bit more time leading up to the deed just to get your body to catch up then the whole experience will become more pleasurable for you as well here is the thing i've realized that when it comes to the motion in the ocean for men and women, we spend a lot of time making sure that the man stays up. And that's important for us to have fun. But we also have to invest time and energy in making sure that the woman is also wet. Equal levels of arousal 
mean higher pleasure for the both of you. So it's important for you to talk to your partner and say, hey, Papa, uta, uta, tabo, 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 tabo. Listen, you must be aroused. I must be aroused. We both have more fun. Now, alternatively, you can try number seven, which is to invest in lubrication. Whether you're the type of person to get wet easily or not at all, lubrication is still your friend. There are different types of lubrication. The ones that make you tingle down there and the other ones that just make you whoops. What do I mean by whoops? It means that it just, you know, everything just, it just becomes puffy, swelly, and it just hugs the situation. I don't know how to explain it, but whoops, you know, just imagine. Meditate on the sister down here, ne? and just imagine the sister going, whoops. That's what a lubrication can do for you. It can make you feel tingly. It can, there are lubrications that actually make you feel more aroused. So if you're a bit dry, you put on this lubrication, it gets you wet, but it also gets you aroused as well. These things were made specifically for the area down there. So you shouldn't be scared that I'm really scared of using products down there. Find the right one that works for you. Invest in different ones. And who knows? Maybe we'll just do a video all about the different types of lubrications. Just only. Maybe. Number eight is pro tip for women. Okay? So you've been having foreplay. You've been kissing, rolling up and down on the bed. All the clothes are off. It's now time to get in there like somewhere. However, you can feel that... Uh, it's a bit dry. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you do? Now, this is the time to take matters into your own hands. And I mean it literally. Take matters into your own hands. Grab the shaft and work the shaft while it is at the entrance of your pleasure zone. This will help you to feel more wet while it pleases the man. It builds up a lot of tension for both you and for him. Cause he's now at the entrance. He's just like, if I can just slide in, but you know, you can't slide in yet because I'm not wet. But if you are working the shaft, right? Working the pipe and the pipe is at the entrance, you will start to feel aroused and he will get more pleasure. And it is just that anticipation that you need for the both of you and you'll know the right moment to just slide in. Another pro tip and this is my final one, number nine. This is for the men hiding in the background, they in the bleachers, I see you. It's fine, you're also welcome. Don't try and push in when it is dry, it hurts like hell. Cause what happens is as women, when we get nervous about getting wet, we get dry, right? So when we are hurt, when it's hurting, and this is, this is also for women, if you feel like lately it's been sore, it's not been fun, it's because there's not enough lubrication. Now you can have artificial or you can make your own through your body and taking a little bit more time. As a man, don't force it in because it's only going to make that experience and experiences after that worse. And you both, you're gonna enjoy it as a man, but as a woman, we're not gonna enjoy it as much is going to build anxiety and that stress is going to stress the sister down here. So if you want the pleasure to be felt now and moving forward, invest in lubes or invest in natural lubrication, taking the process into your own hands, making sure that she meets you. Remember, the more frequently you're able to get her aroused, the easier it's going to be, the more wet it's going to be, the more pleasurable it's going to be. So take the time and the effort to make sure that the arousal comes in. And if not, get yourself a lube, because both ways, it's only going to make the process better now and moving forward. This topic is hot. It's not that I'm just dressed in a trench, right? But this topic is actually hot. <laughs> and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. To all the hubbies, I hope that this gives you pro tips to take to your woman and you can show her that I'm getting my undergrad and my masters in the JJ. And for you, as all my wifeys, going to your husband's, making sure that he slips and slides tonight, enjoy. That's all I have for you. Please do share this with a, wife, with a hubby or a wifey who needs this. And until later days, beautiful people, I'll see you later. Mwah.